What in the heck is Hoogle Culture? Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to catch all our new content. When we built the four new garden beds this year, we knew that we didn't want to have to fill them up completely with new dirt. We had built them with repurposed and scavenged materials, and as much as possible we wanted to fill them in the same way. One way to do that is to create a Hugel Culture bed. Hugel Culture is a way to create self-sustaining beds for gardening that replenish their own nutrients, resist both drying out and getting waterlogged, while at the same time creating an optimum environment for beneficial insects and mycelial growth to occur naturally in the bed. A hugel culture is often built as a freestanding pile, but you can use the same process to fill a raised bed like we are here. What you are doing is creating different layers of materials that will break down naturally over time, releasing nutrients directly into the soil over months or years that will feed the plants placed into it. You start out with sticks and branches, and can even place logs in there if you have them available. The larger the sticks in the first layer, the longer they will take to break down and provide their nutrients, but the longer those nutrients will last. In our case, we wanted to use as much material as we had available from our own property, so the first layer of the bed is all of the cuttings we had just taken from our elderberry tree, including all the branches and leaves. This was followed by another batch of smaller clippings from other plants around the yard, and then a thin layer of soil. On top of that, we grabbed a couple of bins of the deep litter straw bedding from the chicken coop that is full of all that chicken poo goodness. Next up was a bit more soil, some decomposing compost from a couple of the bins that we had sitting around, topped off with a bunch of rhubarb leaves from the plants that we had trimmed up to be transplanted. After that, we put down a layer of composting wood chips from our pathways in the backyard, full of mycelial growth that will instantly seed the bed. We then layered on another couple of bins of deep litter from the chicken coop. After that, it was another layer of soil, followed by another layer of composting wood chips from the pathways, and then finished off with a thick layer of soil, making sure to water the layers in. Now, this bed should have taken about two and a quarter yards of soil to fill it to this point. With all of the extras that we added in, it only took us a single yard of soil to fill it up, saving us $40 and filling the bed with materials that will continue to break down over time, feeding everything that we put in here. If this is your first time here on the Hippie Geeks, it would be wonderful to have you subscribe. This channel is all about helping you visualize, learn, and create. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out our Patreon page or merch store to support the channel directly. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.